Guys, we bought a storage unit here that's full of sneakers. Now, there potentially could be a bunch of rare and really good pairs. There also could be a bunch of trash. Now, we won this at an auction online. So let's go ahead and cut back to the footage of us going through this auction, winning this auction, and then show you guys what's inside and hope that we get some gold. Let's go. I've been watching this storage unit auction for about nine days now and it's coming to a close in just 37 minutes. I use this website called Storage Treasures where you can put in your zip code and find local storage units that are going up for auction because people aren't paying for them. They're essentially abandoned units. And so I came on this website, found this one here. Now, what caught my eye about this unit right here specifically, obviously, is going to be the sneakers. The initial photo has some Nike Jordan 1s, some Dunk Highs or Dunk Lows or Air Maxes maybe. There's some Air Force 1s, some Adidas. We click through. There's like a bunch of bins of clothes. Looks like there's a bunch of more shoes in the lower one. On the next slide, you have more stuff. I think there's a watch in there. Let's keep clicking through. You can see there's a Gucci box right here. There's a box, an ocean watch, uh, NBA beanie it looks like. A couple random things. So obviously that's the reason why this caught my eye. Now this is a five by five storage unit, which is not too bad. I don't want anything too big because I have to figure out what to do with those items between throwing away trash and selling stuff. It's a lot more work. And right now the current bid is $400, which is my bid. I found this unit nine days ago, but there's been a couple bids over the past week up to $390. It's currently at $400 which I'm the highest, and I set my max to $750. Now what this means is that if somebody else bids, it'll automatically bid in $10 increments to where I'll be the highest bidder until $750. So there's 35 minutes left on this unit right here. How it'll work is when the time goes out, if I win it, the storage unit place will call me and say, hey, you have to come pick this up, do the deposit, 72 hour clean out. Or they may say, we talked to the person who owns it, they're willing to pay us more and they got the unit. So let's hope that doesn't happen because that has happened to me before. But now it's a waiting game. We have 34 minutes until this auction ends and I'm hoping that there may be a hidden gem in here. Obviously alone off of what I see, there's definitely three to $400 worth of items. I have the advantage of making content on it and being able to make money off of it as well on the video side. So to the average person, this unit is probably not worth $700 even close, but for me, it definitely is. Somebody else has entered the bidding. We have 15 minutes left. Somebody bid it up to 440. You ain't outbidding me. They keep bidding and it's up to 460 now. 14 minutes left. Let's see how they go. We have one minute, 45 seconds left. No more bids have happened. It's at 460. My max is 750. I don't think it's gonna get that high. We will see though. T minus one minute. I'm gonna refresh it just to make sure we're current. Don't bid, don't bid, don't bid. Five, four, three, two, one. Expired, 460, you won. Now let's actually hope that I get the unit because I've got my hopes up before and not gotten it. Just got the invoice, let's break it down. The winning bid was 460. There's a buyer premium in taxes of $111, which is crazy. Storage unit charges $92. That's gonna be a purchase deposit, a buyer premium, plus a total paid. So I've already had to pay $92 and I have $480 left to pay once I get to the facility. They still haven't called me. I've gotten this before and they've told me that it's sold, but I just tried to call and they didn't answer. I couldn't get anybody on the phone, so I decided to drive to the storage unit place to go ahead and just get the ball rolling. So I'm gonna go inside, do the $100 deposit, pay for the unit, and then we'll head inside and get started. All right, we're back. Put a lock on here. Let's open this thing up, see what's inside. Now we're able to see from the pictures roughly what's in there, but let's see in person. It's our first time. So this is a smaller unit, it's a five by five, and the main gold is here in the back, the Nike boxes. But we're gonna get started and just kind of pull this stuff out so we can get a look at it and see, there's some Gucci right there. There, oh man, this could be some good stuff. So let me grab my gloves because you never know what's inside of these units. Right, I'm excited to see what's in here. Now there's some watch boxes. So first up, we got a bin. Let's check this bin out. We got Los Angeles hat. We got this. This is a JRN random brand. About that life hyena <laughs> JRN. We got a Gucci hat. This is not real. This is that's not looking good for the other Gucci stuff. Fake Gucci hat. This is a Brooklyn NBA beanie, a Titans hat. We got the swag hat right there. This is a brand new hat that was 25 bucks. So we're gonna try it. Once we get back home, we're gonna really like look into the values and stuff rather than doing that now. This is an Ocean Watch box, and it's in here. A good, nah. That's fake. That 
That can't be real. Gucci watch, that's not real. Oh God, I actually don't really love the look of that because if that's any sign for what's to come with the shoes, not loving it. Um, we got a couple more hats here. American flag hat, LA Duck. These are actually, this is New Era hats. These are good hats right here. These are actually worth some money. New Era Cowboys hat, and then we got another Titans hat. So that's actually, this is actually worth some money right here. And there we go. So the total I paid for this unit was $571. It's after fees and everything. The website takes 92 bucks. You guys saw that. And so we're obviously hoping to get that money back out of this and then some, but if we don't, luckily we're making a video out of it and can justify the cost. So next up on top, we have, let's see, some, oh, these do not smell great. Some born sneakers. These are just some old leather shoes. Probably inherently don't have a ton of value. I don't know that brand born. I that they're in a bin like this, um, but we're gonna put this, actually, maybe we'll load some of this stuff up. I'm gonna start loading this stuff up. I mean, I think this will all fit. So one thing that caught my eye was these. So we have a cologne, a polo cologne, which, this is a nice cologne, it actually smells really good. That's it, this is legit cologne. And it's full, I'm down with that, that's good. Ralph Warren, cologne. But what caught my eye was these Gucci boxes. Oh, these are fake. You can just tell they're not textured. Dang, I thought there's a chance. We got fake Gucci belts. The Gucci. Dang it. I know, God, how did this happen? The last one we bought also had a bunch of fake stuff. Valentino, none of this is gonna be real. My man had all fake, I think this was like an older gentleman's thing. These are all fake Gucci belts. We have five fake Gucci belts in black and white and red. Fucci. There's no inherent value in this because I'm not in the business of selling fake. Oh, this one's empty. Dang. We do have a knife though. This is nice. Nice little blade here. I'd say that's decent, right? Azern Trail. I have no idea. A knife. I don't know. We got a used lunch tray with a note. It's got some names on it. I have a whole thing of papers. This is like the mail. Yeah. This is, oh, I got the name. I got the name of the guy. I'm not gonna disclose that information. So, let's go for a shoe. We got two right here. And, oh no! Is that empty? It's empty. No way. This is an Air Max 95 box, a 10 and a half. I was looking forward to that one. This is a white gray fog Air Max. So I know that that box has a shoe in it for sure, but we got a, oh, this is boomers, but it's full of some just older, oh man. Rockaware, let's go. Rockaware, these are worth five bucks maybe. Some Rockaware slides or kind of like dressier shoes. Dang, that's not good. Oh man, now that worries me because I know that one has the Jordan in it. I know it does, but since this one's empty, all right, let's get some good hope out of this. Let's uh, let's pull these out. Let's just, oh, I hope these are real. These are real. Oh, Air Jordan 1 Tiffany Green. Okay, we got some of these. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, dude, what is this? No way. They're, f no, they're straight up fake. I honestly, or is that a collab? No way. A JK collab? They're just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Did they even come out with a Jordan 1 like that? I should have probably looked that up beforehand. That, obviously that's fake. I couldn't see the tongue in the pictures. I got myself. So there's gotta be some real shoes in here. There's Adidas boxes. There's no way. On some of the other ones, we've had the idea that they were fake. This one, I came into it with the intention of real. Man, cause that Air Max 95 box is real. That's a real box. This is a real box. Okay, Superstar. Adidas Superstar, it's heavy. Here we go, come on. All right, we got some. Got some Adidas Superstars here. These are used. Some socks in here, which is just gross. But we got some nice, these are probably worth like 20 bucks. Dude. But at least we got some Superstars. They look real, size 10. Okay, we got a pair of shoes. Dang it, dude. 
Let's see. Okay, there's a Jordan box. That looks like a fake Jordan box. Oh, we're... All right, we're revealing some stuff. Let's pull this out. Let's see. Ooh, this jacket. Looks like we've got a nice Brooklyn Neck jacket. Pro standard. Or uh, bomber jacket. Check that out. Do we think that's... I'll have to look up that brand later. Okay, Tommy Hilfiger. So this stuff, what we're going to do is probably take this to like a Plato's closet and see which items that they would want and see if we can get some money out of that. All right, we got polo. Polo sweatpants. Those are nice. Yeehaw. Got the snakeskin belt. So this stuff will sort out when we get their home. We're going to sort through what actually has some value and things that we could take to Plato's closet and stuff and try to sell and get some money out of it. So we'll do that once we get back. Oh man, we got another bin. This is, this is not good. This is a fake Jordan box. Jordan 11s, these are so light, so fake. I really thought this one was gonna be good. I thought this was gonna be good. I did not think any intent think that these would be fake. Man, dang it. Avia, what the? It's a hat and a scarf. Knoxville furs, Joseph Richards furs. Is that real? It feels soft through my gloves. This is weird. What is happening? All right, what do we got here? Whoa. Bro. Oh man. I want to describe this. Uh. It's a lot of medicine. There's some testosterone. Um. Oh. T-Mobile phone, I thought it was an iPhone. Is this like a burner? I'm scared to be. Watch out for needles. <laughs> yeah, this is like for, it's like a diet blood sugar testing. The Crown Royal bag and a bag with a bunch of pills and stuff. This needs to be properly disposed of. Scale. <laughs> Bro, oh, this is not good. All right, Air Force One box, please. Okay, we got some weight. Please be a nice Air Force One. Oh, are these those Air Maxes? I think they are. Okay, got some nice. All right, we're looking up. We're looking up. I mean, they're pretty beat and worn. These look real from all accords that I can see, but nice pair of white Air Force, white Air Force Ones, white Air Maxes. Two real shoes so far. Another Adidas box. Superstars. My man had a couple fresh pairs of superstars. Yep. All white superstars. White three stripes. These look good. Oh man. I probably have fifty dollars worth of shoes right now on a five hundred dollar storage unit. Alright. Let's see. Some boots. Massimo New York boots. Look in pretty nice condition. Those we'll have to look up and see how much they're worth. A bunch of socks. Some more boots, palladium boots. What do we got? Come on. Come on, some good. A nose trimmer, hair clippers, Steve Madden shoes, and a razor. I was really hyped on this on this freaking unit. I was like, this is gonna be a good one. This is gonna be great. A couple more shoe boxes down there. I'm gonna start. I'll take this out. Okay. Couple more clothing pieces. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. I thought there's no no shoes in here. Bunch of clothing. We're looking down. More paperwork. Those Tims are kind of cool. Oh yeah, we got. I mean, hopefully they're real. Some red Tims. Those are nice. It says ten and a half. These look legit. They have a tag. Everything inside. These are in good shape. These might even be new. This pair of red Tims. What are Tim's brand new? They're like 160, right? There's some fireworks in here. You think these are still good? Do you want to light some of them? Some out? moon travelers. Trash is trash. We got uh, Roku 
subwoofer, two sides. This is probably not inherently worth too much. Do I have like a paperwork here? That's all, we're gonna be shredding that probably. We don't want that getting out. Now there's a toolbox, a couple more shoes. Just cards. Calvin Klein shoes. I wonder what's in that trash bag. Yeah, there's a trash bag and a toolbox. Let's get this stuff out first. In this bag is scary. A sweater. Oh, oh man. All right, we're gonna wait. I don't wanna dump that out here. We're gonna dump that at home. There's like a really nice jacket on the bottom. Now, three shoe boxes. Oh, is there a Roman candle? There could be shoes in there because the other boxes were replaced. Oh, they're not boots. Calvin Klein shoes. Tommy Hilfiger shoes. Some Reeboks. Dude, come on. There's some cleaning supplies and then this toolbox. Maybe they left a fortune in here. Tools. Okay. Socket set. Blowtorch. Set off the fireworks. It's a bunch of old rusty tools, which inherently have some value, but clearly this did not work out well. So we're gonna cut home. We're gonna just cut to when we have all the values of things and let you know how much we lost because we easily lost money on this. Dude, that's so annoying. We've, this is the third unit that we've got. The first unit was pretty good. The last two we've gotten got. I hate how promising it looked at the beginning. I know. So we're cleaned out. We have to go back and get our 100-hour deposit from the front. That's the reality of these storage units. You don't know what you're gonna get. And if you see people who buy a storage unit and it has like a million amazing things, that's like a one in a million chance. Some people finesse this stuff and make it seem more legit, but this is our third unit and it's not coming out. All right, we got a Nike jacket. This is fake. This shirt right here is fake. How you gonna fake that? It's a fake sw set, set. Look at the logo cracking. It's fake. Arizona Cardinals. Good books. Wait. Now this looks real. This looks legit. Nike zip. Has a legit Nike tag there. And this is embroidered. That is real. That's not. Brand new with tags. What is that? So we're about to, whoa. Yo. This is kind of sick. Jason Aldean's Hicktown Kitchen and Cocktails. Yeah, this is a Dickies Jason Aldean shirt. All right. Is this Chrome Hearts? This thing's mega stained. It does look like Harry Potter. Oh, it's Nautica. It's kind of gonna, that's nice. Brand new polo jacket, retail 80 bucks. Yeah. That's crazy. The bedazzled. George Paris Couture. These are the most random. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that one. Fikey sweatsuit. Fake Nike sweatsuit. Man, they didn't release that. Some Dickies. Yo, he must have worked at the Jason Aldean bar. This is the work outfit. This and that Jason Aldean shirt, that's the outf That's the work fit. So we never opened this bag up while we were there. So this is a nice so, sweater, no name brand. We got Another jacket. This is Tryout, Los Angeles, never heard of it. It's actually not a bad looking little Sherpa jacket. That, now I saw this leather in here. 
This is like a nice Pierre Cardin double XL jacket. Anything left in the pockets? I'm scared with this, what I found in here. Is it a Montclair? Nah, this can't be real with all the other stuff that he's had. Come on, man. All right, Bleeker, Mercer. Then you come here. That ain't Montclair. This straight knockoff. Why couldn't I find the storage unit that had the real? Oh, we got more Jason. Ald oh no, DC Nashville. There's like another Dickies. Does this guy like make bars or like work outfits for bars? We got this in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's why TC, I don't know what that is. Another jacket, another jacket, another mountain club outdoor experience, random brand. Actually, that's part with a couple bucks. We're still sorting. This is stuff of value. This is stuff that could be of value, but probably like two to three bucks. So I'm not gonna like count it, but there's a couple others over there, but we still got a couple bins to bring in. Oh, this looks like a nice pair of denim. Not, I thought it didn't have all that. These are tall, bro. It's like a 34 length, 36. I don't know whose stuff this is. Miami shorts. If they're like Dickies, they're good. They're okay. These are Dickies. This is good. This is stuff people want. Now these. What's that? They're trying to be purple denim. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Rue 21. Brand new. Might be worth something. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait. No, no, these are nice. I can wear these. This is a Levi's 3632 taper fit, all white. It looks real too. Nice. 70 bucks. Let's go. Okay, we sorted it out. This pile here, there is stuff with inherent value, but there's also stuff that's like fake. So we don't want to sell anything fake. Most of this stuff will be donated to Goodwill or donated to a local homeless shelter. We'll take care of that, probably show you guys. I don't wanna like record it. Here's the stuff of value. Now again, we paid five, what did we pay, five? I think we paid like 571 total. After looking up eBay prices, actual selling listings, we have Levi's denim. These are going for about 17 to $20, these are brand new. So there's a ticker, it's $17. Pairs of de jeans like this, like Rue 21, it's like $5 brand new. So we're gonna say we're at $22. A pair of Dickies, this is, cheap like seven to ten dollars ish in used condition because these are used so we have a nice jacket here looking this one this is a uh, mountain club this is about uh 22 dollars polo is a little tough you can sell it it's not a ton of money but these are brand new with tags these are going for around 30 dollars ish it's hard to find sales so polo t-shirts are five to ten dollars each so we have two of those and izod jason aldean this should probably go for fifteen dollars around 100. This Nike jacket here is nice, it's about 20 bucks. Arizona Cardinals beanie there, it's about a $5 sale, so 125-ish. My math might be getting off, but I'll put the ticker on the screen. Tommy Hilfiger shirt, it's uh, about $10. Zilly Zonka, I don't know what this is, tie-dye shirt. This does not fit the vibe of everything else in here. It's pretty interesting. I'm not gonna put a value on that. This polo uh, suit set right here, this is about $40-ish. I would say around uh, 200. This one, it was harder to find the brand. I actually need to put a ticker up on the screen because I couldn't find this brand after initial research. So we'll have to like look a little bit harder, but it's pro standard. I think this is probably worth around 75 bucks, but we will update you guys with that. Now we got a couple new era hats, a couple Titans hats. This one here is relative, it's used. These are like brand new with stickers. Some have stickers, so let's say they're used. These are about $10 each of 40. I would say we're probably around 275. A pair of used red Tims like this. Finding comps is difficult, but I would say they're probably around 75 bucks. Stan Smith's. These are like a $10 shoe. Our superstars, $10. We have three pairs of shoes that are worth something, $10, maybe 12, and then we have the Air Maxes. All in all, if I had to, we have these tools right here. We probably sell them. Nick tried to sell some of the other ones, it's not that easy. I would say, let's not say any money, because I feel like 10 bucks, if somebody just wants to take it off your hands. I would say probably, and there'll be a correct count on the screen, we're at like $400 and we spent 571. Total came out to about $500. We ended up at a loss. That's just the reality of storage units. You never know where you're gonna find and sometimes you can take losses and sometimes you can hit treasure. This time, we didn't get treasure. We will definitely make $100 back off this video. There's no question about that. But if anybody else were to do this, they got got. Now, this is partially on me. I was blinded by seeing this top pair and thinking it was a pair of Jordan 1 mids that were legit. 
I saw this photo. I should have known. You can't see up close, but this is not a Jordan 1 silhouette. At least I don't think it is our Jordan 1 colorway. Should have been a dead giveaway, but somebody else was bidding on them too. And uh, it was, it looked really good from the pictures. And that's why these are so difficult to buy from these blind listings, because you just don't know. So 500, I'm, I'm gonna list some of this stuff up. The first storage unit we got worked out decent. That was a good value. This one, not so much. Unfortunately, took a little bit of an L. If you wanna see another storage unit buy, let us know, and we'll try to get a, another legit sneaker one. But we got got, unfortunately. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.